What's up everybody? Hey, it's Josh here. Today I've got a quick tutorial for you that is fairly subtle, but very cool. And it's a good way to separate your website from other Divi websites. And that is how to change the little icon that shows up in your menu when you have drop downs below it. So for example, I've got under services, some other pages. And by default, when you have a drop down menu, Divi puts this little arrow icon after that element. So we're gonna go ahead and change that and customize that in this tutorial. Now you'll notice if you saw my previous tutorial on how to put custom icons in there, I'm using the same code that I put in there. So if you didn't get a chance to check that out, I'd recommend going back through that because we're gonna use a lot of the same methods that we did in that tutorial and this one. So let's go ahead and dive right in here. You'll notice on my site, that my after elements look a little bit different, the little icons. Now you'll notice when I scroll over them, not only do they look different, but they're gonna change color and they're gonna change. So when I scroll over it, boom, that little arrow goes from side to bottom and it changes color. So that's what we're gonna do in this tutorial. We're gonna kinda, kinda customize this and make it our own. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to go into our uh, style sheet and we need to look at the actual little after element here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna use inspect element and I'm gonna find this menu item, and I can see that it has a before element, which is what I put in on the last tutorial, where we changed the content of the actual icon, customized it. Now you'll notice, since this is a drop down, if we go into it a little further and we click into the link, I can dive into this even further and I can see that it automatically has this little after element. This is what we're gonna change. This little chunk of code right here, this is what's telling what icon and what settings at once as that little after element. Every CSS class has the ability to have something before and after it with this little before and after tag. So that's what we're gonna do. So I've got some code saved, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop in uh, basically the same element that I have on my site. So I'm gonna go into my style sheet, which is connected to my site through my FTP client. And if you're curious about how I'm doing this, I'm gonna do a tutorial on it soon, so just stay posted for that. Essentially, I'm just going through FTP and I have my style sheet. I prefer to do things like this because you can see the numbers and things just look good. So what I've done here is I've copied in this code, which is again, what I see right here. The only thing that I'm changing though is the actual content, which is the icon. Now, I'm gonna make sure you have a link to this, but just like the previous tutorial, uh, Elegant Themes give us, gives us the ability to change the content for icons. So I'm gonna go over to the Elegant Themes content uh, the icon list, and this gives us every little icon that we can put into our menu or anywhere on our Divi website. So you can see by default that the current icon is set to right here. It's this little lower, uh, this little down pointing arrow. So all we need to do is just take this code and put it into our content section in our, in our CSS. Now again, just like my previous tutorial mentioned, anytime you take code from this icon list, it has to be after the X after the X and before the semicolon here. So we do not wanna take these first three numbers. So you'll notice I'm using this one right here, which is and pound sign X 45. Again, we just wanna take 45. So if I go into my code, you can see under content, it's just set at 45. So let's go ahead and save this and let's go ahead and look at our new site here. I can go ahead and close out of my site. So I'm gonna wait till that tells me it's saved. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and clear the cache. And there we go. You can see by just inputting the code here that's saying right here on the main nav menu, the child, the first child that has that little after element, we want that to be 45. So that's all we need to do to change that icon. Now, if you wanna take it a step further and you wanna customize it a little bit, which is again, what I do on my site to where you scroll over it, let's do that same thing that I did. Let's go ahead and say when we scroll over it, we want that to point down. So I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this code, but there's just a couple little tweaks we're gonna do. We wanna go to after the menu item that has the child, and we wanna go ahead and make a hover state. So we wanna go hover, and let's go ahead and get rid of that space there. I don't know if that'll matter, but just for the sake of this, we'll go ahead and do that. We wanna put hover before the after uh, element right there because we want to say once you hover over this whole item that's going to change so we'll do the same thing over here there's kind of a, there's a menu item for the main menu and then for the secondary nav menu if you have that so we're going to go ahead and add hover right here and again i'll have this code for you saved now we wanted the down arrow so again right here i can see the down arrow is 43 so let's go ahead and try that so instead of 45 
43. Again, there's a backslash and then 43. We just want to take the two numbers. We do not want to take anything before the X. Let's go ahead and clear the cache. And now when I scroll over it, that should point down. Boom, just like that. Easy peasy. All we need to do is just add those little custom CSS content sections there and that's it that's all there is so what's really cool about this is again you can add any icon you want let's say that we want to try this little plus icon when we scroll over it that is 4c so let's go ahead and do that instead of 43 4c let's go ahead and save that go back to our site here and now i'm going to go ahead and clear the cache and when i scroll over it we should see that plus icon boom very very easy and then the last thing I want to show you is you can even add color and more settings to this. So let's say, um, let's let's pick like a maybe a nice hover over color. Let's try this green here. I think it's the same green that I have on my site. We're going to go ahead and give it a color of that. Let's do important just to make sure it does take that. And I Divi by default lowers the opacity when you hover over something. So let's go ahead and do opacity one important to make sure it knows that we do not want any transparency when we hover over it. Okay, so now you know, let's put that old icon back in there, which was 43 and not 4C. So now when we hover over this, that icon should go down and you should see it green. Right there, easy peasy. Easy peasy, so very cool. Again, just a subtle little, little way to separate your menu from other Divi website design. So I hope this has helped, guys. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below on the actual post if you can. That'd be great, and I'll try to help you out. But again, all you have to do is just take this code that I'll provide for you, look at the list here of the icons with whatever one you want to choose, and you can really spice up your Divi tutorials to make them your own. So have fun, and uh, till next time. Thanks, guys.